Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says the ambassadors that called for the release of businessman Osman Kavala from jail should be declared persona non grata. Erdogan says he's given instructions to the foreign minister to make that declaration. The group of 10 ambassadors recently wrote a letter urging Turkey to release Kavala, who is in prison on charges related to the 2016 failed coup in Turkey. Yatıyorlar, kalkıyorlar. Ten ambassadors approached our foreign ministry about him. What kind of improper behavior is this? Where do you think this country is? This is not a tribal state. This is Turkey, glorious Turkey. You can't come to our foreign ministry and give orders. You can't. So I gave the necessary orders. I told the foreign ministry to declare those ten ambassadors persona non grata as soon as possible. Now, the Turkish president has been citing the UN's Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, which has been in force since 1964. The convention defines the roles and responsibilities of diplomatic staff. The treaty states the head of the mission and staff deployed there are expected to abide by the laws and regulations of the receiving state, in this case, of course, Turkey. It also states diplomatic staff have a duty to not interfere in internal or domestic affairs. The question here, though, is, is writing a letter interfering? And the convention says the host country can declare any diplomatic official persona non grata without having to explain its decision. Well, the U.S. State Department says it is aware of these developments and is seeking clarity from Turkey's foreign ministry. TRT World's editor at large, Yusuf Aram, explains why Turkey's diplomatic relations with these countries, including the U.S. and Germany, have now taken a turn. That specifically stated in the Vienna Convention that they're not supposed to be interfering or meddling in domestic affairs, especially in domestic affairs that have to do with a judicial process. They are directly interfering with the rule of law. Uh, the European Court of Human Rights has no right to see this case because the domestic judicial process hasn't been exhausted yet. And the Turkish president, whether he chooses to expel these diplomats or declare them persona non grata or let this slide, uh, he has the power to do this within the Vienna Convention. It, the Vienna Convention gives the head of state, gives the foreign ministry the power uh, to be able to remove diplomats who are not acting within their mandate, who overstep their bounds. So that's a decision that's left up to the foreign ministry and the Turkish president, how far they want to take this. But when we look at the past, we've seen uh, the U.S. ambassador previously act in this way during the Pastor Brunson case as well, uh, making constant comments about the Turkish judiciary system. So it seems that the Turkish president wants to set a precedent saying this type of behavior is not going to be accepted anymore.